Greetings and peace. I hope you and yours are doing well today, wherever you might be watching this from. Now, the topic that I would like to talk about today is the spiritual and Masonic significance of the prayer mat. Now, the prayer mat, when, what we pray on, is the oblong square. And that's what it represents. And the oblong square is that perfect status of you becoming close to perfection in your quest to chip away at all of your imperfections. And also, it shows the quality of the holiness of the East. You have the Ark of the Covenant, you know, the Lodge Room, Noah's Ark, and how even the Islamic prayer mat is an oblong square, which represents, you know, that perfect square, including, you know, the Lodge Room and the uh, ch uh, checkerboard in certain Lodge Rooms, the way that it's structured. And the idea of the flying carpet in the in the western world also comes from the islamic prayer mat being the oblong square because when you know you pray on this mat you know with your feet bare because you're walking on holy ground what you do is you elevate yourself physically mentally and spiritually so you're ascending by praying on this oblong square and getting close to god you're ascending and you're flying higher above the terrestrial spheres, above the physical and uh, material realms that are limited to man's perception of what we call the 3D world. And it's us becoming one with the Ka and the Ba, which are the aspects of the soul, to become the Kaaba. And as we see, we must become like the perfect ashlar stone of the Kaaba. Now, the prayer mat that I have is structured like this, but then you have other pr uh, prayer mats that also have the two pillars that you see that are in the in the Kaaba inside the Kaaba there are two pillars and an altar and outside of it of the Kaaba you also have two pillars that stand behind the Kaaba so it's about you being that physical temple and you becoming one with yourself and how even when we're done praying we say salam to the right and salam to the left because you yourself are that physical temple and you give salams to the both pillars who are representations of the two angels that are recording everything you're saying. You know, one is doing the good deeds and the other the bad deeds. The yin and the yang, the black and white Masonic tiles, good outweighs the bad, and how you must continuously focus on the good in your quest to spread light to yourself and to your fellow men. And in this world that we're living where there's so much division, we must continue to strive to elevate our souls and to strive to become better in all that we do in our lives and know that hey you know we're all walking each other home let us become the perfect ashlar stone like the kaaba let us walk barefoot on holy ground on the oblong square and elevate our status and those that say you're flying on the magic carpet you have to become like that and elevate yourself internally esoterically so once you heal that, you know, heal thyself from within and know thyself, that's when you know your Lord. And you, the internal frequency of your temple can project out into the external world. And if enough people do that, then we can start to have some good vibes and good change in the world. So let us continue to strive towards that. And the, you know, the exemplification of what the Ashler perfect stone represents, what the pillars represent, what the Ka and the Ba represent what the oblong square and walking bare feet on holy ground represent so and in addition to saying salam to both pillars on your left and right because even in the holy quran the creator says that i am the lord of the two east and the two west so the double-headed eagle which means that you have that nature of duality including focusing on the good and the black and white tile situation you must continue to always exemplify good Think good, know good, do good, and don't fall into any traps of disunity or chaos because they're designed to keep you away from God and your fellow man. So I hope you enjoyed my short video and were able to take something away from this esoteric message of what you know the Islamic prayer uh, mat, uh, means. I encourage you to check out my playlist on Islam and Freemasonry and also my Masonic education playlist on my YouTube channels. So you can get a better idea of how I break everything down video by video. So thank you all again. And I wish you and yours a beautiful rest of July and August ahead. Please stay happy. Please stay cool. 
and don't fall into any traps of disunity and chaos and let us continue to become like the oblong square and the perfect ashlar stone in our journeys in life. Thank you.